Hey guys, Scott here. This is going to be an ignition timing check on a 1990, maybe it's an 89, Ford Mustang 5.0 race car. Like and subscribe if this helps you out, and share please. Let's take a look. First off, we have to get the vehicle on the base timing mode. Oh wait, no, no, no. First off, timing light needs to be connected on negative and positive. Clipped on to your number one cylinder, which is the furthest cylinder, I mean the closest cylinder to the front on a V8, on the Ford's the passenger side on most of them, all of them to my knowledge. Then we need to make sure we put the vehicle in base timing mode. Base timing mode, you do so by disconnecting this connector. The little uh, two pins got a little uh, resistor inside there. And then here on the side, the indicator and the white line is the mark number 10. You've already pre marked this one. You can adjust it or check it by going up and down on the dial, and you can see the timing indicator move. Right now it's showing zero because I have not moved it. My gun is showing zero, and if you physically look at the mark, it's on zero. To verify that it's at 10 degrees. We move the gun up to 10 and see if the lines line up. It's dead on 10. That is the base ignition timing specification as well. Might be kind of hard to read the label, but it all explains it right there. Want to know where the PCV valve is on this one? This one, if you do need to make an adjustment, on the ignition timing. The base of the distributor, I know I'm getting a lot of air in the uh, microphone. You would just adjust that one, or loosen it up, and then turn your complete distributor counterclockwise or clockwise to adjust the timing up or down. Sorry, I forgot to add that in a little last bit, but. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next one.